So hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel the IIT encoder. This is the video for POS PREF positive prefixes. So this is the second question of division one December long challenge 2020 and I'm making this video for utter beginners who are just trying to code and have no, no understanding as you can see I've passed the test cases. So if you are keen on solving this question, please watch the whole video duration because there are very key points and starting from here the December long challenge questions are becoming tougher and tougher. So please watch the whole video and key, uh, better understand every word I say because there may be small hints which may help you to solve this problem if you are stuck on it. So let's get started. So this is the question positive prefixes. So this is like a simple question if you know what you have to do. So you are given two positive integers n and k where k is definitely less than equal to n. And your task is that you find a sequence suppose say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or a1 to an such that for each valid i, a i is either i or minus i that means a1 can be 1 minus 1 a2 can be 2 minus 2 and every integer can be a like n or minus n and so on and there should be exactly k values of i such that the sum of all elements from 1 to i that is a1 to ai should be greater than 0 and there should be exactly k not greater not less and this is true that if there are multiple solutions you can print any of them and it can be easily proved that at least one solution always exists you can try that proving so the first line of the input contains a single integer t denoting the number of test cases and the description of t test cases follow so each of them have two space separated integers n and k you may think that this is redundant i'm reading the question to you but i'm explaining it to you what it actually means because if you are a beginner or even an intermediate sometimes you miss the important things that are mentioned in the question like here suppose you missed this greater than sign and instead took it as greater than equal to the question would change drastically so i'm making an emphasis on these things and now we will we can get started so basically the thing is the sum of first i values should be greater than zero only for k i's so how should we approach this question so a small hint i can give you is as the value of k is fixed you can maybe okay first let's see the time complexity you can easily do it in o n square but the hint is you can do the question in o n and so basically you need to find just k values right so the okay do this take a uh, ra, like first you can initialize all the answer array to some like plus i or minus i and then maybe you can find some loop invariant that if you do that like after some k values or maybe alternate k values or maybe triplet k values or something like that and you can easily achieve the task of making all the other uh, like all the other i's except those particular k i's the sum negative or equal to zero if you can do that then that will be the easiest way you can solve this question for any given n because as it is true for any given n there will be a definite approach to the solution like it is not based on the value of n the answer or the algorithm will work for all n so let's take a simple test case here you can even brute force all the problems 2 raised to 10 is fell within the time limit so you can easily earn 10 points now it is 1 3 3 so n is 3 and k is 3 so basically all the sums should be greater than 0 that means all the numbers should be greater than 0 so it should be 1 2 3 just for your convenience i will help you take another test case because this actually doesn't have much test cases 
so let me just give you a test case okay my paint is taking a lot of time to load please be patient actually the december long challenge or any long challenge is there for learning purposes so don't take care of your rating much and emphasize on the concepts you learn because rating doesn't actually matter in competitive programming much your skills and those things matter and do watch my other videos on roadmap to five star coder and competitive programming experiences of students of iit madras and other videos which may help you very much and do hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so let's suppose there is only one test case and n value is 5 and the value of k suppose 1 so that means only for one value the answer should be positive right so what we can do is take one as positive so we have got one now i can initialize all numbers to negative minus 2 minus 3 so this is one of the test cases i don't think i should give you more test cases because that would reveal the solution so thank you very much for watching this video hope you liked it please do like share and subscribe and leave your requests or any comments you have in the comment section thank you